the Galaxy gets some well-deserved recharge time after going four for four. Welcome to Galaxy All Access for this week. Joe Totino here. Thanks for joining the program today. Actually, everyone's on break this weekend as World Cup qualifiers take center stage. But when you win four games in a span of a week and change, you go into any break with a bigger smile on your face. The Galaxy currently stand in fourth place in the Western Conference, but things are rather tight. They're one point out of third place, three points out of second. They'll return to work a week from Friday when they host the Colorado Rapids. In Champions League, they lead the group, Group 5, with six points after winning their first two matches. In news around the club, the Galaxy have brought in some more experience at the wide midfield position, signing Swedish international Christian Wilhelmsen. His career has spanned across Europe, and he's represented his country 78 times. So it's fair to say he has a bit of pedigree coming in. One player who's building his own resume is young forward Jose Villarreal. The 18-year-old homegrown talent has earned his way into the 18 for Bruce Arena's side, and that alone says a lot. He's contributed some big goals as well, helping the Galaxy to salvage a point at Vancouver July 18th and scoring in Champions League play August 29th against Puerto Rico. Jose, thanks for taking the time. Welcome to the program. Yeah, no problem, Joe. First off, how you doing? You took that knock in the Puerto Rico game and had to come off. What's the latest there? No, I'm fine. It was, I just took a hard knock in the head with the other guy's knee, but uh, everything's good. All good to go, huh? You had that ice pack on your head for quite a while. I was talking to Ralph Perez on the broadcast. I thought you might get some brain freeze from that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It was just, uh, just a little knock, but I'm fine. I'm good to go. All right, Jose, second homegrown signing of the Galaxy. Growing up in the L.A. area, it has to be pretty special for you, I would think. Uh, when did you first get the word the club wanted to sign you to a deal? Uh, well, I was talking to Chris Klein uh, since I uh, started with the academy in, uh, like around July, and uh, he just uh, just uh, started out playing with the reserves, and then uh, a word got around uh, a contract was in, uh, in mind with Chris Klein and the coach and uh, me. And uh, since then, it's been, uh, it's been a good ride. What was it like when you first told your family that the Galaxy wanted to sign you to a pro contract? Oh, they were happy. They they were happy because uh, they were happy because uh, I was gonna stay home near them, and uh, and now it's all good. You know, it's a dream playing at home uh, around friends and around uh, Landon and Robbie and David. Obviously, great players, and uh, just being uh, being close to home is, is the best. Now I understand you're not the only Villarreal in the Galaxy system. Tell us about your brother Jaime. Oh no, he's uh he's with the under eighteen academy right now and uh he's actually doing pretty good, you know. Uh, I always tell him to keep working hard if he wants to you know, uh, get to where I am or even better. Just uh he's a he's a good player, you know. Uh he's an awesome team to have down there in the academy and uh, some guys uh obviously have what it takes to come play uh with the big guys. Now there's always competition in the family. Who's the better player of you two? Um uh, I don't know, you know, you guys have to look uh, look at both of us play. Okay. Uh, hopefully, I'll get that opportunity. Is there only one person that uh, that you look to in the Galaxy organization that maybe has taken you guys under his wing? I uh, wouldn't say one person in particular, but uh, you know, it's a whole team. Uh, every time I travel uh, on uh, travel with the first team, you know, everyone's supporting me. But uh, you know, uh, from the coaches all the way to you know uh, staff like uh, Raúl Vargas or even the trainers, they all support me. I always give me advice that I always take in uh, that helps me become a better player and a better person. Well, you know, Raul's like that fatherly figure of the galaxy, so he's, he takes us all under his wing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, uh, <laughs> you know, they always joke around that he might be my father, but no, I don't think so. <laughs> Let's talk about that first goal you scored at Vancouver. You came into the game with the galaxy in need of a spark. It was a tough game for the galaxy on the road, but uh, tell me about what you remember for that game. You no, know, it was a great atmosphere during the game. You know, uh, obviously we're down to Two zero, but uh, you know, Bruce told me to come in, give us energy, and uh, try to get us a goal. And you know, I, as soon as I came in, I thought to myself, I gotta, I gotta do something to help out the team. And uh, came in, you know, uh, David got his goal, and then uh, managed to get in a great opportunity from a great pass from uh, Juninho, and uh, finish off the play. And we got uh, the two two draw. Well, not only did you finish off the play, you, you had a highlight reel goal, the goal of the week. You're kind of away from the goal at that point outside the area, and then you turn around and unleash a blast that Joe Cannon couldn't get to. So it's, it was more than just the goal. It was it was one of those ones that I think we'll, we'll be watching over and over for years to come. Yeah, yeah, I'd say the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> you got the goal in the Champions League. That was a pretty good one as well. Uh, off a nice sequence, uh, pretty impressive, I thought. Yeah, you know, it was a good pass to Jack. He got, he got the flick on 
and I just uh, thought to myself, uh, I got to finish off the play. And uh, I was surprised the keeper came out, took a took a touch right by him, and as soon as I I uh, hit the ball into the net, I I fell down and took a knock in my head, and I couldn't couldn't really see the ball go into the net, and then uh, I don't remember it quite quite well. I just heard the people screaming. There seems to be a pretty good understanding between you and Jack McBean most of that night to the point where some fans on social media sites have been proclaiming that this is the future strike tandem of the Galaxy. What do you think about that? No, it's a, it's a great duel, me and uh, Jack. You know, we know each other pretty well. We played in the academy. And uh, we obviously have a good uh, relationship down in the locker room. And uh, since we're the young ones in the team and we stick around with each other a lot, but, um, yeah, I mean, I'm excited for me and him in the future. Uh, you've had a few games under your belt with Robbie Keane. What's it like to be out there with him? I imagine you're getting a lot of information coming at you. He's pretty vocal. Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a great learning experience playing with uh, Robbie up there. You know, he's a, he's a clinical striker. You know, his movement off the ball is amazing, and I uh, just try to learn as much as possible. You've shown some qualities that many in this country, Jose, are looking for when it comes to you know the vision of the game, being able to hold the ball, positioning around the goal, and the courage to strike from distance. Uh, what do you think is attributed to that as far as the understanding of the game that you have that some of the younger players here in this country don't? Uh, just uh, being around our great coaches and uh, just uh, taking in as much as information I can from the coaches. Obviously, you know some, some younger players just... Uh, uh, I wouldn't say don't listen to the coaches, but just try to do their own thing. But it's always it's obviously important to listen to your coaches, and uh, they know what they're saying. And obviously, uh, that has helped me uh, with now how I'm playing now. But just gotta keep working. Well, I spoke to Dave Sarikin recently, and he feels there's still a lot for us to see from you. Uh, but he says you're constantly learning and training. What's it like for, for you being around a guy like Robbie Keane, Edson Buttle, and, of course, Landon and David Beckham? And you've got to be absorbing a lot of stuff from those guys. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's an amazing experience, you know, I'm going through. Not a lot of people can say they played with David Beckham, with Landon, or Robbie, you know, at, at my age. But, you know, everything they tell me, I try to take into, into consideration, and I try to... They tell me move like this. They tell me finish the ball. You know, be selfish around goal. I got to do what they tell me, and uh, obviously they tell me for a reason. So I just got to listen to them and uh, keep working hard. Jose, a lot of young players have come along, and uh, for whatever reason, they they seem to wilt under the pressure of being a professional and maybe can't handle it at a young age. And what would you tell players your age and younger uh, about what it takes to be a pro? You know, it's not it's not only uh, I would say it's not only being a uh, being able to play the the sport, but um, just uh, off the, off the field, it's more important, you know, nutrition, uh, uh, being focused, not only uh, um, hanging around with friends, and uh, you just got to be focused and be determined, you know, do one, say one thing and do do the do the thing you're gonna say, and uh, just being a uh, being a good uh, sport, sport, sports guy. I would say it's uh, it's more of a full time job than most people think it is. Yeah, I mean. Uh, some people think, uh, no, it's it's a hobby, but it's not. You know, once you once you're here at this level, it's more it's more like your job. If you're not doing your job, you know, you obviously get penalized in uh, in different ways, and and it's important. You got to do your, your job the right way, and uh, I mean, if you do your job the right way, you know, you, you can be successful. I'd like to get your perspective on this. I know you played for the under-18 national team in the 2011 Milk Cup and have seen action with the under-20s. You're in the system, and many talk about this gap that we need to fill, that uh, we're somehow behind. Maybe we're behind Mexico at this point. What's your thought on that? I mean, uh, I don't know. Mexico has a good uh, youth, uh, youth uh, national team going mm-hmm. on right now, but, I mean, the U.S. has a uh, great talent going on. We just have to uh, discover that great talent there is around around the country, and uh you got to keep working hard, you know? Well, you're one of that great talent that's uh, around the country, and we're, we're lucky to have you here with the Galaxy. Galaxy are back home. They return uh, Friday night, September 14th, 8 o'clock against Colorado. Tickets available at lagalaxy.com or by calling 877-3-GALAXY. Jose, thank you for joining me today. Thanks, Joe. No problem. For Jose Villarreal, Joe Tutino saying thank you for making Galaxy All Access part of your day.